Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. Uh, we are out here this morning. Uh, the apples are actually starting to get ready. They're way ahead of schedule, but um, we've had some just keeps falling on the ground, so we've got to start getting them and using them. So what we're only going to do is pick the biggest ones. We're not going to pick the smaller ones. We're just going to go through here and try to get the biggest ones and try to go ahead and get them canned and get them in jars so we don't lose them. And what we're looking for is the larger apples. We're trying to be easy so that we don't break the other ones off. These are nice, nice apples. You can see the size of them. These are green apples. Uh, they're the uh, Anna apple. And I know a lot of people say the Anna's supposed to take on a pinkish tint. These never have. I've owned this tree for years and years and years, and they have never done that. They always stay bright green. And they have a slight tart taste to them, but it's a taste that we love. It's good for canning. Like I said, we're only going through trying to get the bigger, the bigger apples. Where, where you know, they have a little bit of a blush on top of them, but it's not, uh, it's not a whole lot. And we're using our horse bucket here to pick in. All right, guys, this is a whole picking of apples off of our tree. There's only part of them. We only picked the largest ones. We didn't pick the little ones. Hey, guys, I'm peeling the apples now. In the house here, we hand peel ours because we take the peelings. And see, we don't use any chemicals here at Deep South Homestead. Everything we have is chemical free. So we're not really worried about our peelings. I wouldn't recommend this from a store-bought apple or not even an apple from a fruit stand or anywhere unless you know the person who's raised them. But we take our apples and we save the peelings and what we'll be doing is boiling them down to make jelly out of. And then we take our apples and once we get them peeled and we put them over here and we have this is heavy concentrated lemon water this is heavy concentrated lemon water with the citric acid in it to keep them from uh, turning colors and you'll notice once we peel an apple you see these spots that's caused by stink bugs we find stink bugs on our apples they sting them and then we find these places now we'll cut these places out when we start uh, getting ready to core them up and and use them Okay, Danny is starting to cut up the 
apples in slices. He's coring them and then cutting them in, what, about eight pieces? Yeah, eights. Into eights. And we're going to take those apples and bring them over here. I've got a gallon of water and I'm adding a cup of sugar. That's our light syrup. We're going to let this come to a boil. I'm going to add the slices of apples and we're going to boil them five minutes. This is according to the ball book how we should process the apples before putting them in jars. I have my jars and lids behind us are going to be hot and we're going to be packing them, capping them. I have the water bath canner already going so the water will already be hot when I put it in and we're going to process them 20 minutes. Okay, the water is boiling. We've got one gallon of water to one cup of sugar. And we don't want them splashing. And we're going to let these boil for five minutes. We're putting these apples in quart jars because it'll take about a quart of apples if you wanted to make a pie. And if we're just eating, then we'll eat on them for a couple of three days. Right now we have five quarts in our canner. I'm up to the point that we need to peel some more and I've got Danny on the back here still peeling. When this starts boiling, we're going to boil uh, for 20 minutes in the water bath canner and take them out and our apple slices will be done. So. We have a few more here and a few here. Five jars of apple slices. We have our second batch going. Got good hot water there ready to go. Fix and start canning again.
Okay guys, out of a half a bushel or a little more of apples, this is all the waste we have. The peelings we'll make apple jelly out of, the apples we're canning, these are the cores. This is two cannings of apples that we done out of half a bushel. We did two gallon bags of nothing but apple peelings to be making apple jelly out of. And 12 quarts of apples that we have canned today. And this is all the waste. It was a great harvest today off our tree, even though it's not all the apples, it's just the first picking. So you can see we have plenty of canned apples now to make it through the winter months with. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.